Hi, this is going to be strictly about how to uh, to use Beatmaker with uh, an amp sim plugin like uh, ToneStack. So what you want to do is you want to create an audio track. So you go to the uh, linear uh, song mode, as you see here. And then you click the little plus down underneath where it says main out. And you add a new audio track. And here you have an audio track. Now, the simplest way to do this is to select that, go to Effects, Add Effect, Audio Unit, Enter App Audio, Load Tone Stack Go. You, you, uh, you have that loaded. What you have to do also is check your inputs now on the channel. So you switch to the mixer. Let's look at the channel. Let's select the I.O., have no input you see so I need an input there we're going to use the iRig HD Turn on the monitor and there we have it um, one problem you'll notice when you record like this is that the plugin remains engaged on the playback so you get like a double effect which you're not going to want so Here's a way around that. Create another audio track. Okay, create another audio track. There we go. Go to that audio track. Go to the mixer. Now where it says input, you're going to select an internal input. You're going to select the track that you had previously just put the guitar it plug in on, which is audio one. Now, you don't want to hear that, so you can mute it. There we go. So if you look at the bottom, you see I have mute and monitor selected on the previously installed plugin. The plugin remains installed on the first audio track we made, but we're making the second audio track listen to the first. That is the new track. That's really slow. We'll take that out of record. Go back. And you have a clean playback of that track. Whereas if you did that on the, the track where you installed the plugin in the effects line, you're going to get that sent through again, which you don't want. And you just have to turn it off. But I mean, it's a step that you don't have to mess with.